The world is full of amazing paddling destinations. Some are easy to get to, some are treacherous. Some have kayaks easily available for rent, and others have never seen a kayak before. Though all of these destinations and more are asking to be traveled in a unique way with the track folding kayak. So far in the series we have been looking at how the track can deliver the comparable ability and safety of a hard shell sea kayak, while in the last episode we were expeditioning in Canada and Panama. In this episode we will essentially look at the portability aspects of the kayak and what it can take to get to these amazing overseas locations. In the last three years I have taken my track to 10 countries and transported my track on trains, planes, boats and automobiles. Join me in some of these adventures now and let me share some of the things I have learned along the way. In this episode we will cover options of posting your boat or flying with it, packing gear, boat and paddle in two basic ways, the yakabout setup, the hefty expedition setup, and then we'll look at tips and tricks and other issues. The main challenge of the Panama trip was getting two boats into the country with Ali already being there. I did not want to manhandle two bags all the way, so we posted one. Okay, in Panama City, noisy Panama City. Tracking down a taxi. On arrival to Panama City, we headed over to the FedEx office to find the track. It had been sitting there for a week, though we found it in perfect condition and ready to go. Okay, so uh, got the one track I flew with, the other track we've posted. Advantages to both, I guess. If Ellie and I were not traveling to multiple other countries before and after Panama, it would not have been an economical option. However, there may be slow boats to China, so to speak, that could ship the boats at a cheaper rate if speed was not an issue. There is a lot to think about when packing a kayak and all the gear you need to be self-sufficient on a kayak trip. With the track in its bag at just over 60 pounds, the key with your other gear is to bring only the essentials, use the most lightweight compact systems you can, have multiple uses for as many items as possible. For example, backpacks that work as dry bags for carry-on, have breakdown paddles. I use Lendl 4-piece Euroblades and Northern Light Paddles 3-piece Greenland sticks, the perfect complement to a folding boat. So you can also fit in two-piece break-apart paddles of any type into the track bag for transport. The basic setup I use is what I call the Yak Packer setup. It entails the track and its bag with extra gear up to 70 pounds, a backpack dry bag which works as carry-on luggage plus dry bag in or on the boat, a deck bag which works as a personal carry-on item and satchel. This setup was perfect for Panama, as Tacker Airlines allowed one check-in bag up to 70 pounds and everything else was carry-on, so no extra fees. Some of you may be asking at this point, what do you do with the bags when out on a trip? As long as your other bags are multi-use, you only need to worry about the track bag. The trick here is to remove the plastic plates on the back of the bag, roll it up tightly around the wheels, lash it securely, and place under the bungees on the back deck, or you can even put it inside the boat if you have room. I first used this technique in Croatia and had an amazing trip taking full advantage of the track features. I kayaked from a sailboat as we sailed to Montenegro. I then kayaked back north to Croatia, camping along the cliffy shore. I pulled up onto a beach, packed everything in my bags, hopped on a bus to northern Croatia, set my boat back up and paddled four days south again through the Kornati Islands to finally pack up my gear and kayak to catch my flight out. This trip really showed me the benefits of a 10 minute boat set up and packed down and an efficient packing system of bags. Yak packing was born. After an amazing trip in Panama, I flew back to Belize where I was working and had a seven day adventure with some co-workers of mine on the barrier reef. So we've probably crossed halfway so far, so it's probably about an eight nautical mile crossing from the mainland out to uh, what we call Thatch Key on the Coco Plum Key Range area. 
So we've pulled up to uh, Tobacco Key now, so another beautiful island in paradise. Having a great trip with the boys. We will look at this trip a little bit more in the next episode. My flight onwards from Belize to Canada required me to pay a sports equipment fee of $60 for the track bag being over 50 pounds. So I hear the question, but what if you're going to a cold climate and need more gear? The answer is easy, just add another chicken bag. On top of the Yakpacker setup, I added a 100 litre dry bag, which was great when I was heading to the UK and Norway. Just arrived in uh, the UK for the second time with a track kayak and we've got some big bags. So I've split the kayak up between one large duffel bag and then with the track bag itself. By splitting the track kayak up between two bags, you end up with two chickens around or under 50 pounds. I have found two methods for this. You can place the jacks and the combing in the other bag, leaving the track bag at 50 pounds. Or place the hydraulic jacks and skin in the other bag, and this will leave you with both bags under 50 pounds. Either way, you are left with plenty of room for loading extra gear into the bags for extended expeditions and cold trips. I was able to fly with that kit there for an extra $60 Canadian to the UK. If you need more gear, you can always load up one bag to 70 pounds and pay the sports equipment fee. The overall baggage fee can be up to $200 for the two checked in bags. At Sea Kayak and Cornwall Symposium down in uh, Cornwall, UK of all places. And it'll be great to sort of get back out here with the track and just see what we can rip up. Over seven days in the UK, my track and I underwent advanced BCU training and had a great time. We'll cover more of this later in the series. When in Norway, our backpacks and track bags were left in Svalbard, while we took a ferry and van to our starting destination in Aar and kayaked nine days back to our bags. Arrived in the little hamlet of Aar. It's 8.30 at night, we're above the Arctic Circle. Beautiful Lofoten Island in all faces. We just made the crossing from one island to another. Other issues you may encounter. Wear your PFD onto the plane. This saves space and weight in your bags and you are ready for a water landing. Carry on weight limit of 10 kg per bag. I had this problem when leaving the UK and had to put extra items in my jacket pocket as carry on to get around it. Some airlines won't accept folding boats and bags as check-in. So put a golf club in the bag and it will pass as a golf bag. However, make sure you pack your knife and all other sharps into your check-in bags. You don't want to end up losing them at security or being arrested. The secret source of flying with all this gear is smiling nicely, playing ignorant, and at last resort making a fuss. Always remember, there are ways around most things, though the airlines are always making it harder. If you must pay a large extra bag fee, check to see what it costs for the first class upgrade. Sometimes it's the same price and you get your bags for free. To summarize, it is very easy to get to great international destinations with a track kayak. Posting is possible, but expensive. The quick setup and pack down of the boat makes multi-destination travel a breeze. Pack smartly with extra trip gear and you'll be fine. Read each airline's baggage fees before departure to reduce surprise fees. And ultimately, get out there and find a great destination and explore it. So we're just finishing up our surf session when some guy in a big bright yellow vest comes down to the beach whistling away and we just found out that they've discovered a couple of old World War II bombs. I believe they're going to take the bombs out on the beach and detonate them. Bit of a blasting finale to the week. We already did it, so feel good about it. Whoa! Yes. Oh! oh. oh.